Hi, beautiful Capricorns. Welcome back. I've got my coffee with you guys. Give me a chance here to have some. <laughs> I just poured it. It's piping hot and I got to drink it while it's hot. I always end up drinking cold coffee, guys. Okay. Capricorn energy, please. And thank you, spirit. Messages for Capricorn. Thank you for all your generosity, guys. Thank you so very much for contributing to this channel. You guys are amazing, and I thank you so much for doing that. Hitting the like button, subscribing, commenting. Look up and look forward. Welcome new developments and positive change. Seek and receive consolation from God to overcome a difficult experience. This is a time for reflection, solitude, and contemplation. Perfect timing, divine timing, ordained by the angels. It is never too late or never too early. A surprise is on the horizon. Expect a surprise, Capricorn. Prayers, earth chalice. So something may have come to an end or there's actually been a mourning that you've gone through, a loss of someone. This is communication. This is wisdom. See what's going on. This is groundedness. Someone who's communicating here or praying for communication. The ancestors and the tribes are here. Ancestor of tribes, ancestors of boundaries. Guidance. All the ancestors are here. So something was an illusion. The dancer of fear. Shaman of song. The spirit of nurture and the ancestors of skills are here. Ancestor of memory. So someone's ancestors, it's all about the ancestors, are communicating with you, are communicating with you. This is wisdom. This is... Fear is only an illusion. Someone's ancestors could be communicating with you through song. Special songs that someone could be communicating through music. Giving you guidance through music. You've been a catalyst. You're someone that evokes progress and change in people and making them aware that something could be better, leaving them forever changed. You're a catalyst. This is intelligence. You're able to stimulate a person's mind, focusing You're able to stimulate a person's mind, fusing sexuality with intelligence to achieve your goals. A true sweetheart. You live from love, 
seeing the divinity and love beneath the surface and shaping others' worlds and experiences through the perception of the heart. You're very wise. You're not just, um, you know, a pretty face to look at or a handsome face to look at. You're intelligent and you're wise. And you've been a catalyst. I told you music. Music has the ability to transport you to a different realm by activating and igniting your body, making your magic rituals and your healing even more potent. Some of you are musicians. And you communicate through song. Your words that you communicate has the power to be a catalyst for changing. You could change a lot of people's lives by your music, by your songs, by your talents. Your natural thirst for wisdom and truth elevates your spiritual journey and self-awareness to help those that are also in search of answers in their own path. Some of you could be songwriters, um, composers, musicians, performers, or just through your words. You want people to want to change. You provoke sexual arousal like a phantom dancing with them in a vibrational dance to enchant, tease, entice, and play with their most deepest hidden desires. So like I said, being a chameleon allows you to be able to mingle with different kinds of people and develop various aspects of yourself. Just be careful not to lose the real you. Like, you may have to adapt and wear certain get-ups, but that's not the real you. Like... You know what I mean? If you're a performer on stage, for example, you know, you put on the get up and you put on all the clothing, the makeup, the hair, whatever you do. But in reality, that is not who you truly are. You have to put on that get up to communicate your point your message I am definitely talking to a musician and if I'm not talking to a musician I'm definitely talking to someone who has the ability to communicate through word through song songs make take on a really personal, personal meaning. It's like the how you convey it. You want, it's like people want to become a better version of themselves because of you. If that's not a form of, you know, divinity, then what is? Some people have different skills. Some people have different talents. Like I read cards. I can't sing worth a shit. <laughs> well, that wasn't true. When I was a kid, I used to have really good vocal pipes. But, you know, I smoked and I drank and I, I lost that along the way, which is very unfortunate. My dad was a musician and 
it just wasn't me, you know, I, it wasn't for me. I had stage fright. I was too scared. I was too this, but you have the ability through your communications, your songs or the way you communicate, you want, it's like people want to change after they've heard what you've had to say or the way that you have performed or written or sang. So what's here? You're very intelligent. You're not just a handsome person or a pretty face. You got brains behind that bob. your destiny, your karma. Hmm. And there's a lot of ancestors here. So you have a lot of ancestry that goes back to song or music. You bring peace and balance to people who are stressed out. Like, if you were to see someone full of anxiety, sad, stuck, burdened, not knowing which way to turn. It's like you bring fairness and justice to a situation. You have balance. You can balance people out. You can bring them the justice like through song. I don't know. You're very stable. You're very secure. You know, That's that divine intelligence. It's your communications. You know, when it's expression, the way you express yourself, expressive, express yourself through the written word, communication, or song. You're very intuitive. You're very... Hmm. Hmm. This is telepathy as well. You're very strong. And you want to make people want to change you this is memories fond memories nostalgia you could be thinking of your ancestors you could be thinking of a grandfather or a grandmother, or a mother, or a father. Someone had psychic abilities. This is empathy. This is strong intuition. It's like you're very loving, you're very intuitive. You're no dummy. <laughs> you have divine wisdom here. 
You're a go-getter. You've been blessed. And it is. Okay. Look, you have a combo going on here. You in like you have this strong sexual sexual aura about you that mixes that sexuality with softness and warmth and gentleness but it's also you got a brain like this is brains and beauty you want people you're like what people why people want to hold on to you you know what I mean hmm. this could be an award look at you this could be um a business contract this could be you're a very smart businesswoman business person very strong wise sharp as a cookie here This could be a record deal. An award ceremony. Somebody finds you irresistible. They can't resist you. This is like the lovers. What have we got going on here? What, what's the problem here? We've got smarts. We've got looks. We've got business savvy. We've got this probably the song of an angel or the presence of an angel. What What's the deal here? Somebody's in love with you. Someone loves that about you. <clears throat> Someone loves the way you communicate. It's very loving. But you're not like no sappy person. You're... <laughs> This is like business smarts. This is someone with a lot of knowledge and wisdom. Beauty, charm, sexuality. You got it all going on here, Capricorn. What's going on? Some might find you irresistible here, Capricorn. You're hard working. You worked extremely hard. Hmm. This could be worldwide. This could be 
someone who's, you know, on travel of the world. This is somebody who has world knowledge. Worldly. You ain't no fool. Sharp as a tack. That's what you are. Don't piss you off because they'll see the other side of you. <laughs> For real. It's like you make people want to change. You do. It's like you have this aura about you. It's your aura. <clears throat> like you'll be all these things. This is someone who works hard, who is smart, intelligent. This is somebody who is worldly. They're no dummy. They know what's going on around the world. This is someone who has a lot of intelligence, looks, and smarts. Some good, you know, consider you a heartbreaker because you are intelligent, you're wise, you're good looking, you have a sexual lore about you that makes people want to change. And look, they could be considering you a heartbreaker. <laughs> Just saying. But you're committed. A lot of people think Capricorns, because they exude this sexual prowess about them, like you could take advantage of people real easily, Capricorn, if you wanted to. You could. You're a chameleon. But as long as you stay on that path of devotion, whatever, you're going to be just fine. You're not going to lose yourself. Like if you stay true to yourself, you're never going to lose you. Others may lose you, but you're not going to lose you. If you stay true to yourself, People spy on you. What's this? Yeah, you have this presence about you that wants to make people change. You're able to, with your way you communicate, you know, if somebody's worried about something, if someone's going through a lot of painful situation, it's like you can relate, you can identify. You don't sit and judge them. You can relate to them. You're not going to sit there. You're a great conversationalist. Like if somebody comes to you and you say, you know, tells you their tales of all oh, their problems, you're like, you know what? I could write a song about that. Which might make you a great songwriter because you may have had a lot of hardships, a lot of experiences to write about or talk about. You're a leader. Like I said, you've got this aura about you. This is someone passionate. This is someone who is a leader. This is someone who works hard. This is somebody who's dedicated, devoted, hardworking, grounded. People look at Capricorn and they can prejudge them because of the sign. You know, the devil. However, that's just hotness overload.
It's controlling one's desires. It's controlling one's passions. You're going to be just fine. You know what I'm saying? Do you got to lose your passion? No. Do you got to just be, you know, keep your head down all the time? What did it say? Hey, look up. Look up and look forward. So here you are with your head down and here you are with your head up looking forward. You know, this is someone who can Focus really, really hard and work really, really, really hard. But then after the day, they're looking up, they're looking forward, and they're looking for some passion here. You're a leader. You're a natural-born leader. If you're the masculine energy in this read, this is a true, true sweetheart. They got the beauty, they got the brains, and they know how to earn their own money. They're devoted they're sincere, they're loyal, they're committed, they're dedicated. Look up and look forward. Hmm. You could be receiving some, that's what I'm saying, you could be a star. You were destined for stardom or something like that. This is balancing out the energies as long as you keep in balance. You got nothing to worry about here. You could have grown up poor, you know what I'm saying? Or with, you know, less than. You're not ending up that way. Some of you could have been abandoned. Some of you may have developed fears of abandonment. But as long as you have yourself, and the people you care about, you're wealthy. <laughs> I knew that was going to come out. Some of you grow up poor. You know? Maybe you had to help out at an early age and contribute at an early age. You are wealthy. You are successful and you will end up wealthy. This is like... Some of you may have had to leave home at an early age, you know, um, got kicked out at an early age, or you know what I'm saying? You may have developed fears of abandonment because of that, but it's something that you have learned to heal. Some of you may have had to run away from home. <laughs> like wanting to run away from home or kicked out of the home early. You know what I'm saying? And learn to have to defend for yourself and fight for yourself and support yourself. And look at how you end up. Just, it's an awesome story. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe you grew up in a home where there was a lot of fighting and arguing and poverty and 
illness and stuff like that. This is you making you famous. Recovery is like telling yourself, you know what? I'm I'm not no longer holding my head down. I'm going to look up and I'm going to look forward. And I'm going, even if things kept you down, you were looking up and you were looking forward. So that's what make leaders. Hardships make leaders. Could have trust issues from that, stemming from that. But you're not that way anymore. You're confident. You're independent. You are a messenger of some type. You never know why your circumstances are the way they are, the hardships you face, the struggles that you face. Some of you have gone through the most. You've gone through a lot of painful situations. Could be mental abuse, physical abuse. But you're not ending up that way. And so we develop this skill within ourselves that says... You know, I'm going to keep focus on my money. I'm going to keep focus on making that coin because I'm never going to be poor again. And nobody in my family is ever going to have to go through what I went through. And they're not. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, that's what you're saying. Nobody. And I, as long as I am alive. Anyone that I care about, anyone that I love is not going through what I went through. Mm -mm. Not happening. <laughs> Proud as punch here. This is a victory. This is success. This is accolades. That's the attaboys. That's encouragement. That's like... That's intelligent. <laughs> Sure, you might have suffered at the hands of narcissistic people. You may have had to suffer at the hands of, like, you know, people who just thought that jealous of you, can't handle your success, can't handle your popularity. Because you're popular, you could be very well a popular star, I am referring to, or someone's family came from a line of musicians or or very prominent people and if you didn't you are ending up very prosperous and you yourself are leaving a legacy upon this earth you're the ones who encourage others you're the ones who are proud of others when they achieve their goals, achieve success. You're not the ones to beat them down. You're the ones to cheer them on. <laughs> you know, you want everyone to do well. And you've got a special touch about you, Capricorn, that brings the best out in people. It's either going to bring the worst out of them or the best out of them. Either way. You ain't holding your head down. You make a great partner. You have a sense of humor. You have fun. Look at you. You enjoy activities. You enjoy your family. You enjoy your partners. You get a lot of attention. And there could have been some jealousy here. Sometimes, you know, jealous of your popularity, jealous of your acclaims, jealous of your determination. You just laugh. 
You're too busy being, you're just happy, making others happy. a lot of pain get a lot of stabs in the back people gossiping and anybody who's gossiping and hating you're doing something right here okay the more they gossip the more they hate that's jealousy Hell, even your haters is making you popular. You know what I mean? You have a good, funny sense of humor. You lighten up the crowd. You lighten up the room. You lighten up the environment. And you get a lot of people who want to be jealous of you, hate on you, compete with you. But they can't outshine you. just your aura. You're very powerful. Well, 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 well. So you met your match here, or you're going to be meeting your match. Capricorn, someone who is if you are a masculine Capricorn you got the same qualities you're hot you're stable you're good-looking powerful in control of one's own destiny comfortable in their position this is a feminine who is exactly the same, like two peas in a pod, meant to be together. That's what makes an empress an empress. This is wish fulfillment. It said you make people want to change Capricorn you make people want to change change their ways change their habits it's like you know I want that Capricorn I don't care what I gotta do I don't care what I gotta give up I want that Capricorn and that's the way it's gonna be this is like first time love at first sight I look into your eyes you look into my eyes you breathe me in, I breathe you in. We are soul mates. <laughs> you make people want to change transform you make people um. <sighs> and if they don't this is like till death do us part kind of thing here. This is someone who just can't stand to live without you. And quite honestly, you may feel the same way.
I don't know if you're with this person. But you make this person want to be a better person. And quite honestly, together you make beautiful, beautiful children. <laughs> you do. You make life more beautiful. You just do. Now, if someone let you get away, this person's going to kick their arse to the day they die. got a great sense of humor Capricorn you make people laugh you make people smile you know the only thing you got to do is not get lost keep grounded don't get lost in this fame someone is going to be very famous or you already are and the only thing that you got to do is not get lost in it Don't allow success to change your roots or who you are and where you came from. Let it strengthen you <laughs> and let it be your guide. You know, Adversity builds character. Adversity builds strength. This too shall pass. You are the type of energy that wants people to become better people. And a surprise is on the horizon. Now, for some of you, it is a soulmate. Others of you already have your soulmate. You, you could be receiving... Like you're going to do something really meaningful, Capricorn. Like you're going to leave a legacy behind when you go. You will have, you're, you're leaving a legacy. And a legacy doesn't have to mean money. It could be a song. It could be a record. It could be something going viral. It could be carrying on tradition, you know? Teaching others that they too can, maybe you're writing a book, a biography. I don't know what you're doing, it's something big. And teaching others how to empower themselves and how to face adversity. It's like you're taking everything that you've endured and gone through and helping others to get through their tough times. You know, and it is a sense of humor is your best attribute here. Being able to laugh and still have joy in your life even under the worst circumstances. I mean, 
what's worse than not being here? Not being here. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're going to leave a legacy of some type. Maybe some of you become really, really famous for your songs, famous for the work you do. It could be charity work. It could be healing people with your words or your song or your written word. Fame and fortune seems to be in your cards, Capricorn. Personal, personal fame, personal. Staying true to you and being the best you can be. You know what I mean? Is a legacy. But some of you are over the top. Like making huge impacts on people's lives. Huge impacts on society. You're the warriors of the universe. They're earth warriors and you didn't get that title for no reason. Some of you just have to work extremely hard for what you have acquired. You will overcome your difficult experiences. That's what it's saying. You will overcome. Whatever it is, keep up your prayers. You will overcome whatever difficulties you're facing. Perfect timing. It's never too late. And it's never too early. A surprise is on the horizon. Look up. Keep your chin up and look forward. Don't look behind you. Look in front of you. You got this, Capricorn. Whatever it is. You're like taking those tragedies and turning them into triumphs. Some of your ancestors really gone through it too. Some of your ancestors would tell you that. You remember when? <laughs> That's what I keep hearing. Remember when? Times were tough for all generations. Times were tough for many people's ancestors. And they got through. Don't forget your roots, that strength, that character. It's what made you strong. Take care, guys.